Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Knights of the Old Republic 1 with me, Satan. Uh, we got Zalbar on our team now. Let's level his ass up. Skills. Okay, he's dumb as a box of rocks. But uh, for right now, he's going to be our computer use and repair guy. Which is probably real dumb, but you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he's also a scoundrel. Uh, we're going to give him two weapon fighting. There's really no reason not to use two weapons in this game. Uh, we're going to give him a, I guess a vibro blade and missions vibro blade. Actually, no. We're just going to give him two vibro blades, and I'm going to take missions vibro blade because it's slightly better than a normal one. Uh, but yeah, if we look at Zalbar here, 20 strength. 13 dexterity, 20 constitution. I mean, he's basically a brick shit house. Uh, where's this? He has 75 vitality at level 5. I'm level 6. I have 32. So, his defense is only 11. But he can't wear armor, so. You cannot equip this item. You do not have this prerequisite. Blah, blah, blah. He's a Wookiee. He doesn't get armor. Mm, he does get an energy shield, though. And that's it. Uh, save reflex, save fortitude. We need to save fortitude more, I think. That'll keep us from getting poisoned and stuff. But, uh, we need to head back to the map. And we need to return to the hideout. There's some things I want to upgrade. Take some upgrades out of things we already have and put them in things we, uh, didn't have upgraded. I just want to mess with some of the stuff here a little bit. Uh, Karth's Blaster. He's definitely losing that scope. And this, that, is getting upgraded to hell. Uh, Melee, Prototype Fiber Blade, take those out. Mission Fiber Blade, put those in there. Uh, he can keep that. That's not equipped. Well, we'll give that to Zalbar here in a second. Armor, Achani. Cancel, Republic mod, we don't have anything going there. So, alright. Um, boop, boop. We're going to keep Zalbar with us. He is going to be our biggest damage dealer, by far. Just because he has a lot of strength. Um, pew, pew, pew. I'm going to give him the prototype Vibroblade. It should do more damage than... Yeah, it should definitely do more damage, yep, than uh, the other one. So it's going in the main hand, has a higher chance to hit that way. And, uh, yeah, let's transit back. Mm, boop. Yes? We also got a free heal from doing that, not that we really needed it, but, you know, free heals, not going to scoff at them. That's money not spent on heals. That just leads back to that little hub area. Alright. Cover what? that. Oh. There. Sure. Alright. This outcast cast corpse is definitely going to have that last thing on it. I know I've said that like 20 times, but you know. But, uh, I'm a little bit hesitant to grab it right now because there is, like, another part to, uh, doing this whole thing. So, uh, why don't we... Did I miss this? Nope. What? Yes? yes. Meant to do this. Can't look down that far. That corpse looks real fucked up. Yeah, look at that thing. Ooh, boy. Anyways... Uh, I just want to head back to the, uh, the outcast place real quick. Then we're going to loot that corpse, uh, and probably run back. Mm, shit, where is... I think it's this way? I mean, I can... Yeah, it's this way. Oh, it's right there. Derp. More rat ghouls over there. A gear. 
Goddamn ledge. Over. No, not her. Not you, you. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? Your apprentice is dead. I have her journal. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. Mm -hmm. Hold on a sec. I'm not guiding anybody anywhere. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I don't think you know shit. I am shit. old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. Very well. Tell me the history of your people. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use and the poor were left to starve and die. But the poor rose up against this tyranny and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Are you going to get to the point soon? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down, along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. I'm not interested in this. I offer you wisdom, and you turn me away? Perhaps you are not ready to accept the role you must play in the destiny and salvation of my people. Very well, Upworlder. Return to me when you are ready to learn what you must learn. Okay, well, I think... I think to start this quest... Return, Upworlder. We do have to... Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony yes founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had okay. journals. Uh, what if I get these missing journals for you? I have nothing to offer if you help me in this. I hope the knowledge that you are helping the entire village escape a life of darkness and suffering is reward enough. I'll find him. It is many decades since my father set out on his journey. But I remember he was eager okay, to explore. It's in the I sewers, wish you blah, luck blah. in your quest, Upworlder. There are actually two other journals. Uh, we have one. We gotta pick up the last one from that corpse I pointed out. Uh, but there's a second part to this whole thing. And here it is. I saw you talking with Rukul. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old cook. 
But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. Why are you telling me this? Oh, don't worry, I'll make this quick. I've got an offer that might be worth your while for an outcast. I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. Uh... So what do you want me to do? The two explorers who went searching for the promised land might have found some. They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you then. I can destroy Yeah, yeah he just wants me to bring this up. I'll think about it. Once you have... I'll be going now. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go back, uh, grab that thing off camera and do all that. But for now, this is it for Let's Play Nice Old Republic 1 with me, Satan.